Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marilyn Darling Show. And welcome to another episode of an ink review. Today we are looking at a yellow ink from a noodler. Noodler's Yellow. How is everyone doing today? Are you having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day wherever you are in the world. Noodler's yellow. <coughs> Today's pen will be using the Jinhao 992 with a broad with a fountain pen revolution broad nib. Thanks go out to the OC Pen Club for providing the sample for this review. If you guys do not have a, a pen club near you, try looking up your local state pen club. Because usually there's a state pen club somewhere nearby. So, let's get into it, shall we? <coughs> Here we have our comparison panel. Now this ink does look a tad too dark for this uh, so this is a lot lighter than it looks in camera it actually looks more brighter than it can uh, even see It's just really yellow. It's way lighter than this. <coughs> We're gonna blow up this and it's that yellow. So you can see that it's very very light in color. Okay. Here is our ink swatch and water resistant test shows and I might not want to use this on the outside of an envelope for fear it may wash away. And here is our toilet paper chromatography and all I see is yellow. So this is definitely a primary color. Alright, let's take a look at some paper review, shall we? This is the Pen and Gear Memo book from Walmart.com. Zoom in. Maybe not too close. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Lightweight traveler's notebook paper, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Super lightweight traveler's notebook paper, no feathering, normal ghosting. Moleskin 70 GSM. Feather like a chicken, bled through the page. I would not use fountain pen ink on this paper. <coughs> this is a Yush 100 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is 52 GSM Tumaue River. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is a fairly wet ink, so it does... <clears throat> spread a lot. This is 80 GSM Rhodia Dot Pad. No feathering, no bleeding. Tiny bit of ghosting though. This is the Jot Journal from the Dollar Tree. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. 
This is 80 GSM Nemocene. No feathering. No bleeding. Tiny bit of ghosting. Just right there. This is Oxford Optic Paper. No feathering. T little bit of bleeding, little bit of ghosting. Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM. <coughs> no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Lamy Booklet, 90 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, tiny bit of ghosting. This is the Premier Premium Journal from the 99 cent store. A little bit of spread, and it did bleed through. I would not use fountain pen ink on this paper. <coughs> this is Exceed 100 GSM Heavyweight Paper from Walmart.com. It does look like it's spreading into the page, and it did ghost heavily through the page, almost bordering on bleed through. All right, this is the 2018 Unison Composition Book. <clears throat> from state from Target, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is a 22 unison composition book from Target. Feather like a chicken, bled through the page. Too bad. This is wide rule, up and up, from Target, for 50 cents. This paper is made in Vietnam. Oh, crap, come on. Made in Vietnam. So that's cool. No feathering. No bleeding, but just a teeny tiny bit of ghosting there. <coughs> True Red Composition Book from Staples.com. It does look like it's trying to spread into the page. And it did ghost and bleed through. So, maybe not use that one. Alright, this is Buffet. Handmade paper from Italy. It is feathering into the page, but no bleed through. So, that's pretty good. This is a this is a Nanami This is a Nanami 7Cs 68 GSM Tomoe River. No feathering, no bleeding, tiny bit of ghosting right there. CVS caliber notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Oxford notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Mead wide rolled notebook paper. Feather like a chicken, bled to the page. I would not use fountain pen ink on that paper. <clears throat> this is Mead five star notebook paper. Slightly better on the feathering. And a little bit of ghosting. HP Premium 32 pound copy paper. Spread into the page. No bleeding, no ghosting. This is Acabe cross section pad. No feathering. A little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Oh no, we're having a fire alarm soon, so. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Sorry, this is JNB Copper Blade Graph Pad from JohnNeilBooks.com. <coughs> this is the original Crown Mill 100 GSM paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. I'm going to try and run through these like lickety split fast fire because we're having a fire drill. <coughs> and I don't want you guys to get. 
muddled out by the uh, fire alarm. So if we do start the fire alarm, this is going to end soon. I'll try and come back later. Okay, so Pannonia dungo, Calaverse dust storm, horseradish mustard, Espana boulevard, goose pompon, citrus black, yellow jacket, 399, apple cider, <coughs> Cotswold, candlelight, African gold, Louise, golden sands, Robert Oster, Aust Aussie gold, chartreuse, Jown Jasmine, Golden Afternoon, Sunset, uh, Apache Sunset, Yamabuki, Document Yellow, Golden Star, African Goldfinch Yellow, Primary Yellow, Helianthus, Diamond Amber, Robert Oster NG Special, Sunshine Yellow, Food Color Yellow, Wonderland, and Golden Yellow. <clears throat> what did you guys think of today's ink? Are you guys looking for a yellow ink? Let me know in the comment section below. That is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you and I will be back very soon with another video. So, take care until then. Okay, love you, bye. Have a great day.